Well, today is a very exciting day. Maybe we're gonna buy a cow for this year. We don't have a fence built yet, but we're working on it. And we are gonna have our first farm animal on our farm here. We're getting three Highland cows in just a matter of weeks. It may have been raining pretty hard today, but all that rain could not dampen our excitement because today was a big day for our farm. Because today, we got to bring our cows home. Rain, I mean, it's been raining since. I know, constantly. Mm. Could take this and yeah, smooth it out if we stop have to. on it. Well, we had caught the little two heifers yeah. last weekend, but the, the okay. bull, we didn't want to hit him, but we didn't have any problem, it's just we had to corner him. <laughs> And then the rope was around the neck, so we took oh. another rope and put it around the horn. Yeah, yeah. I brought them yesterday, okay? Then eight, I put them in the other they're going to settle. Because I put some high vis electrical tape yep. on it so yep. they can see the fence. Oh, yeah. No, no. You're okay. And it's got about 10,000 volts in. Oh, yeah. You'll be okay. <laughs> no, okay. I wouldn't worry about that. No. Such happy little critters over there. They won't have a problem once we get them into the fence. Two strand electric. So what they'll do is they'll walk the perimeter for the day, just kind of getting their bearing. Yeah. But he says we don't have to worry about them taking off. That's, good. That's what I thought, but. You know. Well, he was telling us something different. The driver, he was all worried that yeah. they take off. Well, you're gonna lose them right away. Maybe. The bull is uh, he's tied up oh. already. So he's already got a halter on him and everything on. Do you want to just take a couple carrots in your pocket? Sure. Put <laughs> a carrot in your pocket? <laughs> and I'm happy to see <laughs> So you can imagine, trying to get a 600 pound bull in this weather and that mud was not going to be an easy or safe thing to do. But this wasn't the owner's first rodeo. And this was definitely the best way to get him to the livestock trailer. Is that ours or uh, the other one? Uh, ours are in there. Oh, okay. Because they've got the brownish black bow, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now's not the time to get a, get a bird. More dangerous things than this, like this. I used to be a garbage man. <laughs> oh, he's so good at hanging on so the side of the house. It is a really bumpy road.
don't know what that is. She's like, nah. So part of our strategy was to leave them on the rope until we felt comfortable that they weren't going to bolt or take off, as they were only being penned in with two high tensile electric wires. Uh, they're used to more of a cage wire back at their old fence, so we wanted to make sure that they were going to stick around and uh, not try to bolt through the line. Hey, Stefan. There you go, solid ground again there, bud. Yeah, you're like, now you can really fight me on solid ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, let's get the trailer out of there. Come on, buddy. Move the fence across. The other challenge was that Wallace did not have a personality that was easily sociable with people. While they normally come with a good, gentle demeanor, he hadn't had a lot of interaction with people and trusted them even less. Well, you got Wallace. Wallace, Eve, and... No, Mabel. Mabel. Wallace, Willow, and oh, Mabel. Yeah. Wallace, Sorry. <laughs> it's in our name. So now that he had the ropes on him, it was going to be quite the challenge to get them off safely without anybody getting hurt. Oh, he got it. There we go. He's free. They are just loving it. Look oh, at that. Yeah. So we had purchased the two-year-old bull named Wallace, after William Wallace, of course. And then we also had the 10-month-old Willow. And our neighbors, Walker Family Homestead, had purchased Mabel. And the plan was Mabel was going to help us clear some forest along with the other two companions while they were able to get their homestead set up for her. Oh, we got the cows. We did it. We got the cows. Got them in here. Gee, it's crazy. And then at the same time, it's completely normal. <laughs> Move for you. You grew up with cows. But they weren't, I mean, they were my responsibility, but I was just like a teenager raising them. So I didn't have to buy them. If they died, you know, it wasn't my financial investment. Yeah. But these things are pretty hardy breed. Highlands, they're, they're good for rain, snow, cold, whatever. They're good. And uh, we've got lots of shelter in here with the trees. They've already been nibbling on some of the evergreen stuff. Uh, they're munching on some hay. So they're obviously comfortable enough to eat and they know what the fence is. They've gone up to the fence and decided that they weren't gonna run into it, so they know what that is. So now it's just a matter of um, getting them to realize that we're, we're nice. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to budge them off. <laughs> he's like, hey, Yeah, he wants all food. the hay to himself. Now that he's, he's the bull, he's the... He's the new alpha. is loving the trees. Yeah. Good scratch, yeah. Okay, where are you guys going? Mm -hmm. Kaylin's taming chance number one. She's looking at 
at something else. She's looking for a good scratch post. Oh, she's trying to scratch her teeth. Yeah. When we're in there with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take our organic carrots <laughs> that the cows don't even want. <laughs> they ate, they, all three of them ate some. I know. For the first time. It's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Only the best for our cows. <laughs> <laughs> organic carrots. See, it was the only carrots over there. Well, I Unless I only looked in the organic section, but the, it's not a very big grocery store. Six fifty for a bag of organic carrots. Oh my <laughs> goodness! That's why we need to grow our, uh, grow our own. Yeah. Hmm. I built this fence. You did build this fence. Hmm. You sound like you're hungry. Probably. All these ones that are cut like to half high. They love it. They love they that. Like scratching up against it. And then they'll push them over eventually. Yeah, eventually. As they rot. He's not shivering or shaking or anything now. No, it was just adrenaline. You should have the GoPro on. Just have a cow cam. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the cows at any time. Yeah. I'd like to, once they're tame, I can get in there. I can brush them, clean them up a little bit. You know, they're a little too, uh, too nervous right now to let us get up there and do that. But that'll change. Oh, yeah. Just spend time with them. My, the cows that I used to raise, I would go in the... Uh, in the corral there where they were and I'd just sit there for hours I'd read a book. Yeah, they get used to you then. Or something. They just get used to us being around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wallace is looking. Surprised she doesn't smell them. Maybe that's what he's smelling right now. Oh, I think he sees them. Oh, he's gonna get shocked. It's okay, dude. <laughs> oh no. <It's> hot. <laughs> dude. It's like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> There's as much distance between him and the fence as possible. And now he won't come over because <laughs> he's not sure. He doesn't know what hit him. <laughs> he's just looking around. It's the fourth time he's been hit, but I think he figured out it's the fence this time. This is nope. Safe distance. <laughs> Willow is interested. Keep your distance. <laughs> well, here they all come. Yeah. Willow's They're the good. <laughs> Willow's brave, yeah. Bad. He's come still on. gone after that electric shock. She stands there with confidence too. Yeah. yeah. Willow and Wallace. 
<laughs> yeah, we're trying to be all tough. Wait till we get sheep. She was made to herd them. <laughs> He's just been standing out there in the rain with the cows for like over an hour. <laughs> just He's so excited. See her eyes. Come here. She's just got the emo look. Oh yeah, he's rubbing up against all the trees. What a cutie. Hi Mabel. No, I'm worried about this electric fence. I'm at some point for sure going to step on it or get hit by it. Ben already has five times, so he's still alive. You'll be alright. Oh, here they come. I can hear them. Come on, Wallace. Let's go. Literally just came down behind us. So today I'm going to do my best to try and build what's called an Ohio chicken brooder. 